In today's video, we are gonna be making the MacBook Drift animation in Blender. Also, huge thanks to Sage Dedos for this wonderful suggestion. So, let's jump into the video. Select the default cube, switch to edit mode, then face select and select all the faces of the cube except the bottom one and then delete them. Select the bottom face in edit mode and bring it up to the cursor. Press 7 on your numpad key for the top view and scale it by 5. Subdivide the plane in edit mode and enter number of subdivisions to around 20 or 30. We can also increase the number of subdivisions in future if necessary. Add a cylinder into the viewport and, uh, and reduce its radius to around 0 0.06 meter. Select the cylinder and move it far away in x-axis and apply a bevel modifier to it with amount to 0 0.06 and number of segments to 10. Apply Shade Smooth. Add a hair particle system to the plane mesh and rotate it to fix the issue. In the particle system, insert the same number of emissions as there are the number of vertices. For the source, select Emit from Vertices and uncheck Random Order. Choose Render as Object and Cylinder as the Instance Object. Check Object Rotation and rotate the cylinder 90 degrees in Y axis. Head over to Front View, select the camera and press Ctrl, Alt and 0 to project the camera to the scene. In the camera setting, play with the focal length value to get a desired look. Or you can just go with the 85mm lens value. Select the cylinder and scale it around 15 in Z axis. Select the plane, add a wireframe modifier to it and reduce its thickness to zero. Add a simple deform modifier and place it at the top of all modifiers. Play with its angle values to observe the deformation. Change the angle value to 15 degrees. Or play with the values to get a desired look of your choice. Delete the light source. Switch the render engine from EV to Cycles. Select CPU or GPU. Enter viewport and render max samples to 128. In color management, set look to very high contrast and view transform to standard. Reduce color to all the way dark in world properties. Add an area light source to the viewport and increase its scale value to 15. In light properties, change the power to 10,000 watts. Change the shape from square to disk. Increase its size to 1.5 meters. Move the light source upwards in Z axis. Then rotate it and point it over to the main subject from the left side. Then again duplicate it and point it over to the scene from the right side. Increase its size to 3.5 meters and reduce the power to 5000 watts. Or shading the scene, head over to shader editor. Select the cylinder and press new. Add a mix shader node between principal BSDF and material output. Add a transparent BSDF shader and join it to mix shader. Reduce specular value to 0 and increase roughness to 1. Add a color ramp node and join it to base color. Add a gradient texture node and join it to color ramp. Add a particle info node and join the random socket of the particle info to the vector socket of the gradient texture. Add multiple color stops to the color ramp and then change them to various colors as shown in the video or you can go with any different color of your choice. In material properties under viewport display settings, change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend. Add a curve circle to the viewport and increase its scale value to 1.5. Add a turbulence force field to the viewport. In the force field settings, change the shape to line, increase the strength to 2 and size to 3.5. Add a follow path object constraint to the turbulence and select the Bezier circle as the target. Enter the in value of the timeline to 240. For the first frame, enter the offset value to 0 and insert animation. And for the 241st frame, insert the offset value 100 and insert animation. Play the animation to observe the wavy spiral kind of animation. But in rendered mode, uh, it's not looking as good. So to make it look more better and more dense, increase the total number of subdivisions. Also make sure that the total number of emissions in the particle system is the same as the number of vertices. Don't add unnecessary subdivisions if your computer is not capable of handling it. That sums up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for more such content.